Hello, everyone, and welcome to Silent Hill Downpour. I am returning to Silent Hill after a little while. We're back with another game. The final game, the final full release uh, in the older Silent Hill series, and I'm very excited to jump into it. Look at this. Look at this menu screen. Look at this menu screen. It's great. Uh, let's jump in uh, for a new Silent Hill series. We got screaming people on the on the main menu. That's very scary, isn't it? When you have uh, screaming people, you're like, "Wow, that's scary." Uh, wonder what they've got going on there in this horror game. I am really excited. I'm really excited. Uh, all I know about Silent Hill Downpour is it's just another one of the Silent Hill games that people are very mixed on. And I'm really excited to check it out myself and to see how I feel about it. We have played uh, the whole series. It's really funny whenever I put Silent Hill on the channel because Silent Hill 2 is what I essentially started with in 2020. And uh, I did a highlight video of that one recently, if you want to go and check that out. But the full Silent Hill series so far is on the channel. So it's always kind of special when I play Silent Hill because Silent Hill 2 kind of put me out there and got me some attention during those uh, first few months of, uh, of COVID. And we're here with Downpour and I wanted to get Downpour done and on the channel before the new wave of Silent Hill content comes in because we've got quite a few games coming out that we're, uh, look really, really enticing. Um, so we'll just have to see. We'll just have to see. see. Silent Hill F and uh, Silent Hill 2 Remake, most notable for me, definitely. Uh, but yeah, I just thought that we would, you know, play a little bit of downpour. I've played some uh, some longer games on the channel recently, and I'm after something a bit more horror and something a bit shorter. Uh, and this is one that is is overdue to tick off the box. So let's start a new game. Let's jump in and see what Silent Hill Downpour is uh, is all about. Game difficulty, normal, puzzle difficulty, hard. Let's go. This game saves data automatically at certain points. Do not turn off the console while the disc appears on the screen. Find a way to access the subway tunnel so you can get around the town much faster. All right, thanks game. Thanks for giving me that tip before I even started. And we got puzzles. We can set the puzzle difficulty like we used to. That's cool. It's all set. Make it quick, huh? Follow me. Murphy. Okay. Prison boy. Okay. Silent Hill and prisons. Name a better combination. Oh, Murphy, stop screwing around. I don't have a... I'm in Arkham Asylum? Oh, God. That... Oh, it's all prison related. It's like prison bar sound effects and like shutting big doors and stuff in the, in the menu even as well. All right. Subtitles? Yes. Um, object highlighting. Sure, let's have object highlighting because why not? And then there are other settings that I can't even change. Uh, cool. Statistics. Probably don't want to look at that just in case it gives anything away, actually. Uh, I am Murphy. I am prison man. Let's go. I'm rattling on the bars of my cage. Oh, Jesus. What the hell? What is this, a racing game? I've got a, I've got a rear view mirror. Oh god, broke my neck just for a second there. Nice, okay, we've got a rear view mirror view. Let's go, just in case you want to look behind our shoulder. That's kind of interesting, actually. Who's that? Who's that? Someone there. Okay, cool. So we're definitely playing as a really suspicious, paranoid character, right? Because he's like, who's that? A little present on the bench. Who's that? All right, I'll stop doing that. I'm sorry, that got old real quick. I have a suspicious ca ca like camera angle though. So interact with doors and other objects in the environment, press A. I'm not seeing any objects on the bench, so I'm assuming you mean in the next room. What have you left for me, sir? Oh, oh, it's like Silent Hill Shattered Memories, where you have to push yourself through the door. 
Weird. Shattered Memories was the last one that we played. We actually did two playthroughs of it as well, just to see the differences in outcomes. It was quite interesting. Uh, hang on. So, so an object on the bench. Oh, Jesus, you left me a knife. I definitely turned on subtitles, right? And it's... Oh, what? Okay. It didn't, oh, it didn't save. I'm like, why are there no subtitles? I didn't save. My bad. What the hell? The game was like, no. All right, so there's a knife on the bench. What are you waiting for? Turn on the damn shower so the camera will catch everything you do. Oh, okay. I'm getting a hint to uh, block the showers from the prison guard, and now I can pick up a weapon. Okay. So this shower guard is on, uh, shower guard, prison guard is on my side. What the hell? Okay. I can't pick up both, I can just pick up one. What is going on here? I've got an arrangement with the guard so I can go and do a fight club in the showers. Prison fight club in the showers. Midnight. Turn the showers on. Lock the cameras. Apparently none of the... No, no other guards can hear me talking over the loudspeaker, so it's fine. And our first contender is... You scared the hell out of me. What the hell's going on? We're Sewell. There's been a mistake. I'm a sequestered prisoner. You're not supposed to be here. Guards? Officer Sewell, hello? Guards? You don't recognize me, do you? What? No, I... Guard... Guards! Anybody? Oh. We used to be neighbors. So I'm like not even a prisoner. I like paid this guy to like sneak me in as a prisoner just so I could gut this dude like a pig. Jesus. We used to be neighbors. Guards! You fucked my wife. Just open the goddamn door! Help somebody! This is a violation of my rights. Who the hell do you think you are? When I talk to the warden, I... No one's listening. Help! Jesus, help me! What the hell? Well, I, we went for the most lethal weapon straight away, and the dude's not even fighting back. I, like, picked up a weapon, because I was like, okay, we're going to get into a fight. Pick the lethal one. Now I have to gut this defenseless human being. Okay. Surely I have a reason. Who's behind me? Okay. Surely I've got a reason. Don't want to <laughs> Please. Ah! Oh, God, the sound effects. Oh! Oh! Oh, look, look at that. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, okay. Oh, hang on. Right. Pick up another weapon. All right, pick up the other one. It's got the fucking. <laughs> okay, this is how I like to start my Silent Hill game. Now bash him with a stick. Spank him. This is pure psychological dread that I come to know Silent Hill for, and the smackdown blood on the lens. What the hell? Okay, now we're just going down to fisticuffs. Bam, and the finisher, bam, 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 finish him. All right, so Mortal Kombat. What, what am I, okay. This is off to an interesting start. Beat up a uh, defenseless old man. Not even old, just, okay. I have no idea what this guy's done. Why? You know exactly why. It's for my wife, you bastard. Oh. Oh. It was all a dream. Did I wake you, Pendleton? What is my name? Murphy or Pendleton? Pendleton Purphy? Come on, rise and shine, Cupcake, you know the drill. In my restless dreams, I see that fat guy. Guess today's a big day, huh? To tell you the truth, I'm sorta of sorry to see you go. Prisoner secure, open 302B, transfer.
music's kind of nice. The shotgun's a little bit excessive, mate. Well, guess this is it. No fond farewell? You gonna miss us? Not even a little. <laughs> Give it a couple of days at Wayside Max. I bet you'll start to miss this place after all. Because we sure are gonna miss you. Move them out! So we're getting transferred somewhere, we're not getting released. Okay. Serious. Sunglasses like the void. Love the shotgun at long range. All yours now, sugar. Let's get this done. Yeah. All right. You heard the lady. Mount up. Uh, uh. What we got here? <laughs> Pendleton. Get on the bus. <laughs> yeah, I was getting on the bus already before you stopped me. I got nowhere else to go. <laughs> Buckle up, get cozy. We got a long ride ahead of us. I'm gonna give you a long, hard stare with my void glasses, and then tell you to do exactly what you were gonna do anyway. Sizing you up, Chief. Murphy Pendleton. Gotcha. Title card. Silent Hill Downpour. There it is. Silent Hill. Okay. Interesting. Are we getting taken to, uh... Are we getting taken to... No. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Taking the glasses off, that's good. Don't need them at night. Oh gosh, she's a big, big mad. She angry, look at that scowl. She don't like me. Does she?
right? You have a good nap, Wero. Tell me something, puta. That you what I heard about you? Did you really do it? Shut the hell up! <laughs> oh no! Fuck you, Wero. Get up, damn it! What? <laughs> Title card. I, I, I called it too early. What? What? That road wasn't just like slightly damaged. There was no road. <laughs> ah, diggity damn. That man was like, shit, I guess I didn't check the uh, roadworks uh, schedule. Didn't get that memo. Holy shit. The voice acting uh, for that prisoner who's asking about our nap was not good. <laughs> Oh, this is this is a really interesting start. While I mentioned that the music was nice earlier, I will mention that I am aware that this is the first Silent Hill game not uh, composed by. Uh, Think. Um, Find the highway. Why is my brain glitching, Akira? Um, and I'm I'm interested. I'm not going to judge the soundtrack too harshly just because it doesn't have the OG composer I am yeah I was already aware of that so we'll see how we'll see how we go in terms of the music I was like it's a nice touch it's got that Silent Hill flair to it so we'll see if it ends up standing out as a like nice unique thing um or not damn a whole a whole piece of burst right here um yeah that's just <gasps> sorry excuse me <laughs> that suspicious camera all right, we got the we got the we got the left and the right hooks going in. Oh, anyone in the bus? The seat is empty. The bus is empty. I got like a oh, got a journal. Got me journal. It's good. At least I know how to pick up the journal by opening it. What do we got here? Walkie talkie. Police radio. That'll oh, play. that classic Silent Hill sound felt so lovely. Alright, I got the police radio. Um ooh, ooh. Interesting. I got a I got a block and the, the screen hates it when I do that. Gotcha. Yeah! Kind of look and see if I have like a bit of a bit of a sprint slash you know Hello? move faster option. If you can hear me, give me a shout. Give me a shout, bro. I'm gonna assume that we well we don't have a crouch. That looks like the way to go. Can I go under here? Or is this like I'm too short? Oh no, I can go under. Okay. Well, damn. Which way is the way to go then? Ryle State Correctional Facility. Can I go up here? Guys, look. Fog. That is a Silent Hill staple. Whoa! That was scary. Trees falling in my in my horror game. Guess I'm not going that way. Thank you for letting me know. Good. So is that walkie-talkie missable? If I just don't go and check my optional pathways. Interesting. All right, let's go this way. We have not set the tone very well at the beginning. Hello? <laughs> Can anyone hear me? Hello? I'm slowly talking to myself in a volume that no one could possibly hear. Hello? Roll through there. Okay, let's do that. My radio's going. Oh god. Oh, nice. He'd be he'd be getting eaten. Hello. Yeah, you, know, you got a death with a view at least. This didn't happen in the accident. Classic. Press the L button. 
and then oh we can oh we can clip it to our belt and there we go inventory it's a live inventory portable two-way radio transceiver so we can switch on and off better to keep it on nice we can belt the flashlight that's really neat okay and um the flashlight moves uh with our camera while being belted on so that's good Who's that? Too cold. <laughs> let's go. Let's go do the in-water ending of uh, Silent Hill Downpour immediately. Just walk ourselves out there, never come back. Cool. I'm equipped with the Silent Hill staples. I got the radio and I got the flashlight. Now I just need the depression and the trauma. Someone hook me up with that, and we're good to go for a Silent Hill experience. I got my edgy scar on my face. I wonder how I got that scar. My father was a gamer. I know how I got these scars on my face. Jesus, okay. Ah, oh, man, I'm used to, oh, RB is the, is the sprint. We have unlocked fast movement, thank God. I was, I keep pressing LB by accident because LB is usually a sprint one for, uh, for some games that are in third person. So it keeps throwing me off and I keep accidentally going, <gasps> who's that? <laughs> so it's not intentional. Oh, oh no, we've got balancing. Oh God, okay. Balance on the beams. Telling me, buddy. Ooh. Ooh. Where's my uh, where's my video game balance meter? Oh god, why is this so hard? Well, it's not even hard. I just like oh, I'm just like feel like I'm barely making progress. Yeah, I need that balance meter. The red, yellow, and the green. Oh god, because I can't actually tell when I'm gonna fall or if I'm gonna fall. I don't know. I don't, I, I need to. Okay, good timing. I need to know how close I was to, like, stacking it. That's far enough. Get your ass down on the ground now. Hands where I can see him. Do it. A. Cunningham. I'm not going anywhere. I said, on the ground now. I was just looking for help. And you just I... happened to lose your cuffs in the process? Save the bullshit. Oh, oh. Watch your step. A Cunningham. This is stupid. I'll meet you back down at the bus, okay? You're gonna get yourself killed. Shut up. Keep your goddamn hands where I can see them. Okay. Oh no! Shit. <laughs> she actually slipped. No shit. You want a hand, lady? Pull me up. Oh, well, how about a please? You're just threatening to shoot me. <gasps> Whoa. Okay. Oh, cool. We'll help her. Hey, Interesting. We have choices. Don't let go. Oh. Shit. Well, I did. I did press A to help. So I guess that happens regardless. But what's important is that, in I guess in her perspective, we did go to like help her up. So she, if there was like if this was one of those games, it'd be like this action will have consequences, or this will be remembered at the top of the screen. If only I'd move faster. Oh, Damn is it. is it because I took too long to choose? Did I, is it because I took too long? No shot. Is it actually because I took too long? I'm actually curious now. 
Did I take too long? I love that. Um, it's just telling me that I'm at a diner. Come on, game. Don't tell me that. Um, let me see. Let me see. Just out of curiosity. I just want to see. Just want to see. This should be the autosave oh, before the tree, right? Murphy's journal is a valuable source of information. All right. Now, for the sake of consistency, I'm just curious to see if this was genuinely me taking too long because I want to I want to understand this on a gameplay system level because it mean like it means that we don't have much time to like think about choices. You have to kind of almost make some uh, spur of the moment choices. Like I had to really be like help her or leave her. I, and I, I actually press start to try and pause the game to kind of talk about it because I do like to pause the game sometimes and talk about things. So let me satiate my curiosity right now just to see what happens here. I'm going to press A to help her immediately. And I just want to know if that was the game going, I should have moved faster. Just if that's scripted or not, and then we'll, we'll proceed. I just want to know what this means for future choices. But I didn't know there was going to be choices and decisions here. Silent Hill is notorious for multiple endings. Um, so it's that's cool that there is something like this. All right. Get your ass I don't think we can skip cutscenes, so I'm just going to have to watch her awkwardly Hands where I can see go him. across, and then we can check it out again. All right, Shit. she's lost her gun. I'm gonna help her immediately. Ready? Let's see what happens. Help! Pull me up. Without a second thought, mash A. Help! Hang on. I'm slipping. Oh Look shit! It is because I took too long. No. Okay. Cool. She falls. For some reason, I thought that that. For some reason, I thought that that uh. Cutscene started differently. Was that different? Or am I crazy? Am I losing my mind as a result of Silent Hill? What does he say now? If only I'd move faster. Interesting. Okay, it's the same result. It's the same result. I made that decision quick smart. But it's like, if only the character had moved faster. There you go. I wanted to get a, get a bit more of an understanding about that. Just to see if that was... Do we have a time, an invisible time limit on our choices that also influence things or not? But we don't. Uh, for some reason, I start. I thought that that cutscene um, started differently. They saw it. Oh, it's different. No, it's not. I'm just crazy. Don't don't mind me. Don't mind me. Silent Hill's already having a, an effect on my on my psyche. So it is just that we've made the same choice. So to help her, and she knows that we tried to help her, which is the important thing. Again. If only I moved faster. What happened to you? Cool. It was behind me. Oh. Journal. Find a way out of the area. Found the highway. Looks like one hell of a storm came through. No wonder we crashed. Need to find a ride out of here. Maybe boost a car in town. Alright, so Murphy's into journaling. Gas. Let's boost a ride. I love that they put the sound in there. Overlook Penitentiary, Aerial Tram Station, Gas Station, Diner. Okay, Toluca Lake. Mount Janus. Okay, so we've got the objectives, we've got the tips, and then we've got the maps. Cool. The Aerial Tram Station and Diner. Are we getting sent to the penitentiary then? Um, on the thingy, I guess. Boombox. Oh. Okay. Wrench. Wrench here. You can dodge a wrench. Dodge a ball. Oh, do we need wrench to, uh... I could break this lock with the right tool. Gotcha. Have you seen this dog? Lost on Tuesday, 12th of July. That's my birthday. 
Response to the name Carl. Any information leading to the finding of my dog will be rewarded with 500 bucks, called day or night. Someone wrote dead or alive on that. What the hell? I wonder what happens if you call that number. This game has psychologically profiled me to the point of my own birthday. Something is very wrong here. That's what I was just thinking. All right, let's bash this boy up. Hiya. Hiya. Ah, third time's a charm. There we go. Classic maneuver. Oh, yeah. Stitch the wrench for a brick. Great. Now I've just ditched that wrench for the rest of my life, haven't I? Give me that. Give me my wrench back. Give me the wrench back. Give me the wrench back. I can't believe this. Great. I've just lost the wrench because I've dipped it in a pile of bricks. No. Come on. Yes. Goddamn lucky dip of which thing you pick up. A wrench is much more sturdy. Okay. Oh. The game's trying to teach us uh, throwing weapons at birds. However, um, there's no crosshair. So that kind of makes this whole thing a bit awkward. Let me go for the brick. We'll separate the wrench. There's no crosshair, so I, I, does it have like a goddamn like auto target or what? Yeah. Okay. okay, does not have an auto target. But you can throw your items. So, there you go. The more you know. Throwables. Ah, oh, the, the classic. Classic Silent Hill wheelchair. Except, for some reason, it's on the top of the gas station. Not the, not the scariest place to put it. Whatever floats your boat, I guess. Oh shit, well that was a point of no return. August. But what year? Calendars always have years, don't be obscure. I hate it when, I'm, when they're like, we don't want to tell you what the year is. Because we don't even want to know. We don't want you to know. Okay, I've opened that. Yeah, there's a lack of um, button prompts, or I guess UI, which is actually kind of refreshing. Let's say uh, it's not bad, actually. Like, there's no, like, here's your shit, here's your, yeah, user interface stuff clogging up the screen. It is just like, have fun and figure it out and get, get good at aiming without a crosshair. So it's interesting. It's more immersive that way. I will say that if I showed you a screenshot of this game and you and I was like, hey guys, what game is this? You would not be able to identify it. Someone would say it was Alan Wake. Souvenir shop. Devil's Pit Aerial Tram. Free ticket for kids who beat our escape game. A natural wonder filled with subterranean myths and legends. Disabled access for wheelchair users. And it has a guy on a wheelchair and it's crossed out. So someone in this town hates people that are in wheelchairs and they've obviously like stolen a guy's wheelchair who was like, you know, just chilling out at the gas station and they, they beat him up, stole his wheelchair and threw it on the roof of the gas station and said, fuck you. And then also crossed him out on the poster. There's some, there's some people that are just anti-accessible spaces for some reason. We've got to figure out the villain's motivation for his uh, wheelchair problem. Um, okay. Interesting. Who's there? Why am I following this golden shiny trail? Wait, are we at the tram station? I mean, not the tram station, the... We are at the aerial tram station. This is not accessible. What the fuck are you talking about? This is a whole staircase. This is not wheelchair accessible at all. This is the entrance to the Devil's Pit. You guys fucked up. Maybe the guy who's against wheelchairs built these stairs and got rid of the accessibility ramp. Find a way out of the area. All right, so I guess that I'm supposed to be in here. These game tokens look ancient. Money. Okay, so if I'm supposed to be here, 
but why are there so many of you? If I'm supposed to be in here, I'm going to quickly go that way. Oh, that goes towards the diner. Actually, fuck it. That's probably going to be the next area. It's that part of me that's trying to do the whole leave no stone unturned thing. I wish we could save manually, but the game is very much like... I'll save when I want to save, and you'll deal with that. Which means there's probably not manual save points. Alright, let's have a look. Tickets. Free dram ticket. So where the hell's the machine? Kids who beat our skate game. Okay, well I guess this was the machine. Oh, the machine's been dragged away. That's what the trail is. Okay. We gotta go follow the trail for the machine. So this guy, this guy was like, oh, fuck this place specifically. I hate guys in wheelchairs and I hate this machine. No, no free rides. Gotcha. All right, let's go get it. Follow the trail. I was going to end up finding it indirectly anyway. There you go. Like we can, yeah, okay. Disabled access wheelchair users. I'm assuming there must be an elevator on the bottom floor. Otherwise, that's just funny. I'm just playing a, a practical joke. What does it say over here? So, Devil's Pit Aerial Tram. No other place in America has a view like this. Bring cameras. The ride to the top takes 15 minutes. Take a round trip or stay longer in the observation. Right, let's follow this. Someone was really like desperately. Drag in this game. Oh, oh, that fog coming in. Looks like it opens from the other side. God damn it. They're not making it easy for me, are they? Hello? Ah, now we're at the Devil's Pit Stop Diner. Wow. Well, look at that. <laughs> An old 52. Mm, flathead V8. No doubt about it. <laughs> Wicked old beast, ain't she? Hmm? What? I said she's a wicked old beast. Me, I'm partial to something with a little less rust. But to each his own. Look, I don't want any trouble. Just point the way out of town, and I'll keep right on going. Now, who said anything about trouble? Just trying to be helpful, son. Name's Howard, by the way. How would the mailman of Silent Hill? Murphy. Heading to prison, are you Murphy? Uh, just looking for a way out of town is, is all. That's so. Afraid all the roads are out, every last one of them. Strangest thing. What the f Something wrong, son? Did you see it? Uh, up there in the window. Hmm? Hmm? Uh, never mind. I suppose if you're really desperate, you could try the old Sky Tram. Cause it hasn't really been kept up since the accident. I'll take my chances. That's the spirit. You're gonna ask about the accident? Well, okay. this mail ain't gonna deliver itself. Good luck, Murphy. Hope you find whatever it is you're looking for. The Silent Hill Mailman. I can't wait to see him again. Hey, uh, what's the name of this place? I... He's gone. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. The mysterious Silent Hill Mailman delivers an ominous message and it disappears into the foggy night. I guess like the best way to just have some semblance of mystery 
Not since the accident. That's a that's a really great thing that you can slip into conversations, by the way. If anyone ever asks you like a question, they're like, oh, have you been here before? Like, have you ever watched this? Or like, oh, like, we should go here. Have you been there before? Just not since the accident. <laughs> and they be like, what the fuck are you joking about? So not since the accident. Just it adds so much more intrigue to your life. Right? You get to make up an accident. I have not been to Burger King since the accident, you know? <gasps> Who's there? We have more reason to be suspicious now because we're actually seeing things. Yeah. We saw something in the in the window, so so now we have a right to be suspicious. You cannot do anything you've already done. But you can face up to it. Man. I must have hit my head pretty damn hard in the crash. Yep. Okay. Interesting. now getting random voice lines in our head about like presumably from our Hello? past. Hello? Anyone here? God, what a waste of a good burg. Let's take a look at this menu. What are we missing out on? I'm quite hungry right now actually. It's probably a bad idea to be looking at this. Oh, I want to eat something. All right, that's the dessert. Let me look at, let me start at the beginning here. What, what do we got on the menu at Pit Stop Diner? We've got Classic American diner served with classic cocktails and endless coffee. Open every day of the week for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Warm welcome to home stance. I don't know what that means. Okay, hamburger. God, these are, these are some pretty decent prices on this food. We had a hamburger, we had a cheeseburger, we had the double cheeseburger. We got the hot dog, we got the chili dog, we got the pastrami, the grinder. What the hell is that? Ham and cheese, grilled cheese, clam chowder for 99 cents, steak dinner. Bowl of chili, salad, egg salad, tuna melt, meatloaf, fried chicken, catch of the day. They'd be going out fishing, French fries, onion rings, lobster, rolling cakes and crab cakes. There's some good prices on some of this stuff. You know? Some good prices on this. Soft drinks, bottomless coffee for 50 cents. Fresh OJ. Nice tea, lemonade, root beer float, malts and shakes. Damn. Okay. By the way, can I can let's let's float an idea here. Fresh OJ. OJ stands for orange juice, and everyone has universally accepted A. OJ means orange juice. If, if I asked for a glass of AJ, you wanna you wanna sling me some apple juice? Everyone's gonna look at you like you're crazy. Can I have some fresh AJ? What the fuck are you talking about? Why is it only orange juice that gets that treatment? You know what I mean? You got pancakes here. Yeah. Pancakes here, waffles, pigs in a blanket, two eggs and bacon, two eggs and sausages, two eggs and ham steak, corned beef and hash, chicken fried steak, biscuits and gravy. We got an apple, blueberry, and rhubarb pie. We got a banana split, devil's pit sundae, hot fudge sundae, and a chocolate cake. God, that's a good menu. That's a good menu. Look at this crap. They just got full plates of food just chilling. I'm hungry, man. Is a bad idea. Oh, I can interact with the cash register. Nice. See, here's the thing: there is, there's no, there's no button prompts, so you just really have to just press A on shit. And <laughs> okay, committing crimes. I am a prisoner. All right, we got the jukebox. Can I put money in the jukebox? They got, they were just cooking steaks, man. They're in the middle of cooking steak dinners and everything. Fresh food is good. What's this? Early residents of Devil's Pit. Did you know Native Americans used to call Silent Hill home? Anthropologists know this because of the various artifacts found here, specifically in the cave systems surrounding Devil's Pit. A number of these relics indicate ceremonies being held for the deity uh, Quick Waxor, suggesting his importance to the people here. In fact, one of the names given to the area was uh, Quick Waxor Canesta, Nest of the Raven. Hey kids, is Silent Hill a special place to you? If you were naming this area, what would you call it? Is this your special place? Coins in the jukebox? Coins in the jukebox. 
money, a few dollars and change. Play me a tune. Dude, it plays the Silent Hill 1 theme. Oh my god. You never know with Silent Hill sometimes is uh, the music is really hit and miss with whether you're going to get copyrighted or not because um, Akira's work is incredible and sometimes YouTube loves to be like uh, copyright. All right, we got the map to Devil's Pit Stop. That's why I was not talking in the cutscenes uh, early when the music was playing in case I have to cut it out because that happened in Homecoming. So we've got a mysteries tab as well. So that goes into the history of stuff. Interesting. Devil's Pit Stop. Oh, what does this mean? Devil's Pit Stop. Meat, 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 boned meat. Rain and fog. What? Am I reading that right? Oh, boiled meat, not boned meat. Well, it's certainly not the weather forecast. Yeah, guys, it's going to be meat weather. <laughs> And then there'll be rain and fog on weekends. Friday's boiled meat weather. You don't want to be caught outside in the boiled meat weather. What does that even mean? How do I determine, like, what that is even about? We got the meat days and we go- Oh, shit. Give me that. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. So if you just press the right trigger, you just throw it. Without aiming. You can just pick shit up and throw it. Oh my god. Give me my wrench back. Who's behind me? Uh, give me my wrench back, please. Nice. When injured, first aid. Free sample. Nice. Also, bottomless coffee for 50 cents. That's crazy. Um, yes, I'm a woman. Let me in. Oh, oh my god! Guys, is that a Silent Hill fixed camera angle reference? Crazy. Remember when Silent Hill games used the fixed camera? They put the dinner menu in the bathroom in case you're hungry while you shit and the food out that you just ate. Oh my god, please. Silent Hill, am I right? Remember fixed camera angles? Crazy. Okay, they only put the menu- oh, I can flush. They only put the menu in the female toilet. What do you mean by that? Which means we can use this mirror as a portal to another dimension. Oh, that was weird. Nope. Okay. It's not a portal to another dimension. They're not using the mirror mechanic of Silent Hill. Dude, I, I gotta tell you, the, the door mechanic in this game is really weird. So you press A to hold onto the door. And then you have to use the thumbstick to like push in. It's really interesting. Oh, oh, oh. Hang on, it's weird in here. All right, we gotta shut the door. Uh, clap your hands three times and say, Oh, toilet's blocked, okay. And say, toilet's blocked. It's not even blocked, but that's a lot of water. Dude, the water is right up to the brim of that toilet. If this was the man's toilet, you'd be soaking your balls. You would be soaking them. I don't, I don't envy the, the women pissing in that toilet, because it will be splashing up against them. It's not a very good toilet. It's got issues. Yeah, who cares about the wrench? I got a frying pan now. What's that? <laughs> Gas? Oh, shit. Can't press the alarm. Something's cooking in it. Who's behind me? Something's cooking. Let's turn that gas off. Nobody light anything up. They really left in a hurry. They like fucking left the stove on and everything. Uh can I interact with this at all? <laughs> Okay, looks like I could. Oh, hang on, there we go. Yes. Oh shit. Yep. Fire. That's that's definitely what happens when you turn the gas off. Fire. Quick. Pop. <laughs> you can press the alarm. Nice. What the hell? <laughs> Turns gas off, explodes. Any day now, flames. What the hell? Whoa! Oh my god! What? What the hell is this? Okay, that was cool. 
That was awesome. That was a great transition to Otherworld. That was awesome. That took me by surprise. What the hell? That's awesome. Water reached that breaker box. Oh, shit. Uh, oh. Who's behind me? Um, the water... Oh, God. Okay. Well, fuck me. Uh, quick. Turn this valve. Turn the magic valve. Rotate. That's even more water. Okay. Okay. Drained out. Okay. Imagine if it just filled up even faster. Okay. Dude, what the hell? Okay, what a transition. Mm. All right, all right. You've charmed me. Oh, okay, we've got we got the the chains, we've got the rusty atmosphere, okay? But why? Why do we have it? You know, what's going on with us? What's our backstory? What did we do to get ourselves put in prison and now to get Silent Hill torment? Do we have any sexually repressed demons that'll form as monsters to attack us? Can't wait for the nurses and Pyramid Head to come back for some reason. That's a staple. Hello? See, Murphy's never saying hello when it counts. Don't you want to, don't you want help in here, bro? I, I do like the occasional shifts to a fixed camera angle. It's, uh, it's quite cool, actually. It's nice when the camera pulls back a bit, so it's not always third person. I appreciate that. Kind of cool. How the fuck would you know how to do that? What the hell? Oh, okay. I see. What is going on? Okay. He's like, yeah, let me just spin this around real quick. Run. All right. Guys, that puzzle was on hard difficulty. It was like a hard puzzle. Oh! 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 Okay. Yep. We got Silent Hill black holes happening. Okay. Run! Whose voice is that? Whoa! Oh my god. This is trippy as hell. Who's behind me? Oh my god, who's behind me for real this time? Oh, who's behind me for real? Oh, but this is why I have trust issues and I look behind my shoulder all the time. Oh my god, get me the hell out of here. Knock over obstacles to slow down pursuing monsters. Who's behind me? Oh my god, dude. What the fuck? I knew this mechanic was going to involve being chased in some capacity because it's like, why else are you going to look over your shoulder? Fuck, we're going this way. Oh, no, we're not. Ah! Oh, no, we're not. Ah! Oh, wait. I'm be Oh. God, I'm being chased by an ominous force. Oh, get me out of here. I'm running as fast as I can. <laughs> what the fuck? Quick, crawl through the hole. Whoa, did I make it? Am I free? Oh, the hole's not even there anymore. Bap. What the fuck? Oh, okay, slip and slide. Let's go. I lost my frying pan. God damn it. What the fuck? Not the spikes. What is this? Tomb Raider? Oh shit, the bus. Oh my god. Do we have the... Oh shit. Do we have the terrible, like, execution screens, like Tomb Raider reboot? When you, like, fall on spikes and it's just, like, so gruesome? Oh, I've still got my frying pan. Thank god. I just popped it in my ass for a bit. Wow. What the fuck is going on? Silent Hill MC Escher, let's go. Who's behind me? This is crazy. Honey, sit down. Listen to the good tunes. It's great here. We got we got cog wheels. We got great chandeliers. It's a great time. What is going on here? This is wild i'm at a mixture of just like this is so uh from the beginning of the game this is like a little bit silly to this is cool so we're in a uh, we got some stuff in here we're in an mc escher silent hillscape right now that's pretty cool look at that it's getting weird and trippy like the running in an endless hallway i was actually scared i was doing something wrong there is this gonna rotate the whole room 
No, we're just going to summon the bedroom. Okay. This is the bedroom where it happened. Show me where it happened. Okay, we got the upside down painting again. We are rotating the room. Oh shit. Yeah, there you go. We are spinning the room around. Okay. What? Who's swimming? Who's diving in the water over here? Hello? Okay. What's rotating now? Oh, okay. Oh, that. That? No? Okay. What? I got a pathway here. Jesus. Okay. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, no. Not the ominous Silent Hill black hole I'm being chased. Okay, wait a minute. This is weird. Oh, God. What is going on? What is... Ah! Ooh. Ah! Ooh. I like that when he's, like, close to being fucking annihilated by the black hole, he's actually, like, he's actually screaming. Like, I don't know. It makes this protagonist feel very relatable. Like, he's not, like, some fucking crazy dude that's, like, not ever saying anything. Oh, I've opened the gate. Nice. I like how he's, like, actually freaking out. He's like, oh, what the fuck? I'm being chased by this goddamn dimension sucking red red shit. Instead of like James being like, where did you get pizza? And I don't really care. Nothing phases James Sunderland. But like this guy is shaken. And that's good because the thing that always gets me about Silent Hill protagonists is they are very accepting of their surroundings. And I'm always like, why are you so accepting of your surroundings? They're just like, mm. Just another day. Just another day. You should see my nightmares. They're even worse. So this guy at least has that going for him. This is an infinite staircase. Once again, this is like when Silent Hill 2, you're like going down into the prison. You're just endlessly going up to the point where it looks like you could be running down. It's just like, am I supposed to turn around or what? What the hell? Jesus. Hello? Me and my trusty frying pan here. Oh, I dropped the frying pan. I pressed B and dropped. No, I dropped the frying pan. Fuck. I pressed B because I was gonna. I was looking at the flashlight and I accidentally like. Oh, fuck. God damn. I thought I lost you. As beautiful as the day I lost you. All right. We're definitely doing something wrong. We are on an infinite goddamn. All right, I'm going the other way. I've run up here for long enough. We're going the other way. No, wait. Okay. Nothing's happening. All right, we're going back. I'm I'm stuck. I'm stuck in staircase limbo. Holy shit. The true Silent Hill was the staircase as we climbed along the way. It keeps resetting. Oh, no. Surely it'll end eventually, right? Hello? All right, this is ridiculous. Surely. Surely it'll end eventually, right? Where were you during the Silent Hill Downpour Infinite Staircase? Because I was here. Right in it. Okay. Okay, man. What is... Do we just... Should we just walk it? Just walk it. Maybe just like... Okay. No, it's definitely resetting. What is going on? Get me out of here! I'm actually going crazy. What the fuck? No way. What is happening? Okay, no, it's not resetting. That's just the, the ambient track. Okay, it's the ambient track making that sound. Which means eventually this will end. Right? Please? Please end? I'm begging you? I'd like it to end then. Oh, man. What the fuck? Is there... A, there's got to be some sort of trick to this. Is there a trick to this? 
I, I am turning around at this point. I'm I'm genuinely turning around because I think I'm I must be doing it wrong. Oh fuck you, you motherfucker! This game. Okay, God, I guys, you won't believe me, but I had the craziest bathroom experience. Really just happened. Now you're cooking. Okay, I just had the wildest bathroom experience of my life. Shut my pants so hard I got taken to another dimension. What the hell? Good shit. I'm almost dead. Let's use a first aid kit. I actually have no understanding of what my health actually is, but I am limping. So I'm assuming. Oh look, my injuries faded away. Nice. Who's behind me? My injuries faded away. So I guess we just have to pay attention to if we look fucked and we walk and fucked. Chair? Oh, with the wooden chair. Friendship ended with frying pan. Wooden chair is my best friend. <laughs> fuck yeah. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> what the fuck? <sighs> oh, the chair actually broke too. That's cool. Uh, yeah. Great. All right, back with my old friend. Panny. All right, there's too many doors now. There's too many options. Come on, guys. Too many options in this place. What's that? Let me get the map up. Map. All right, I am in the room. Would you believe it? I'm in the room. Directed by Tommy Wiseau. Honey, I'm home. Time to have copious amounts of awkward sex scenes. Another frying pan. There can only be one. Hello? Oh, who's by me? Uh, we're going downstairs. Okay, hold on. Let me check the office and that other room first before we go downstairs. Because all of the horrors are always in the basement. Uh, office? No, this is the toilet? Nice. There you go. If I got my... Oh, give me my... No, I've lost my frying pan to the toilet. Give it back. Thank you. Uh, office? Hello? Okay, what's going on in here? Can you stop? Okay. When you want to press A on something and it's close to a uh, interactable object, you will pick it up and swap it out. Artificial respirator. <laughs> okay, anything in here? Any re rhyme or reason for coming into the office? No. Okay, back to the room, back to the basement. It was worth a shot. Wait a minute. Did I come from... Where did I come from? I didn't come from upstairs, did I? Oh, who did that? Did you just lock the door? You fuck it. Locked. That's a silent hill. I know. You know what's crazy? This game has broken down those silent hill tropes of every door is locked or broken. I gotta say, we've been opening doors like no tomorrow like as if this game was like you know what guys this is going to be the silent hill game where you can open doors we've barely had any locked ones so that's pretty good the silent hill series is evolving uh we got a fire extinguisher oh god do we use it as a fire extinguisher or is it purely just literally a weapon i'm waiting for something to catch on fire We'll be back for you, frying pan. Promise. I have a feeling that this is just going to be a weapon. <laughs> or maybe I need to use it to like bash down a door or some shit. Can you change floors in here? Yeah, I can. Oh, hang on. What's this icon? Oh, it's a. Okay. The radio. Okay, it's just bash this shit. <laughs> The fire extinguisher is not stronger than the wrench at bashing locks off, so it doesn't make a difference what you use. Which means, I don't have much time. Give me that back. Give me my fight. Bastard. Sounds like I don't have much time. 
Okay. Nice. Woodworking equipment. Home gym. Home gym setup. All right, let's go. Let's lift some weights. Let's do some chest presses. Looks like a way out. Guys, you said the name of that video game. Important information. There's another prison game. Silent Hill Downpour predicted a way out years before the game released. Isn't that crazy? Hang on. I'm, a, I'm sure that this lift is not going to work because we're going to need to do some Silent Hill bullshit first, like turn the power on. So we're going to go in here in this gate that I opened and there will be like this thing of restoring power to the elevator based on nothing but our own assumption that the power is probably out. Weird room. Working rules. Oh, you know, we got a little comfortable couch situation. We got a TV dinner going on over here. We got okay, nice. Now leave that on. I sleep to my white noise. This dude just up and left his goddamn food. Everyone's leaving all this food. Room 3B. Return to room at 7.51, showered. 8.10, shampooed hair twice in bed. 8.42 p.m. With pink nighty and no panties. Lights off at 9.23 p.m. after reading a fashion magazine and drinking a glass of wine. Cheap Zin Zinfandel. Room 102, ordered room service at 5.32 p.m. How special. Fried chicken dinner with milk. Ate half while watching the news program, then put tray outside door at 7.10 p.m. Clip toenails until 7.32 p.m. Left the clippings on the floor. Watch TV rest of the night until bedtime. 10.35 p.m. Wore oversized men's button-up. Sheer. That's the true horror of Silent Hill. Toenail clippings left on the floor. Room 6A. Shave legs at 8.10, 8.20 p.m. in the bathtub. In bed by 9.30 p.m. Sleeps nude snores loudly room 103 long phone call to a boyfriend ended at 5 22 p.m argued the entire time cried herself to sleep creepy goddamn hotel owner that stalks the visitors like to a, an extensive degree of the minute that they did something that is that's something He must have cameras in all of them and he just switches the channel. This has happened before. Not happened before, but it's very similar. Silent Hill Origins has a hotel situation and an owner uh, area. And you end up being able to walk this passageway that you walk through and you can peep into so many different places. So they've done this before in Silent Hill. Guys, we're not turning on the power, we're just reading a creepy stalker's note. It's fine. Oh god, I keep my character keeps glitching on the spot. Alright, nice. Expectations subverted. Um we just read a creepy stalker note instead of having to put power to the lift. That's more of a Resident Evil thing. That's more of like, you know, Silent Hill. Silent Hill's never troopy, never. The panel's busted. I'm eating my hat because apparently it's, it, I fucked up. All right, the panel's busted. Shit, guys, no, <laughs> it is broken. Fuck. Um. All right. Well. Okay. All right, smart guy. What do you want me to do about that? Okay, I've got I've I've missed something to fix the panel. I need a who's behind me? I need a replacement panel. Which is probably in that area. God damn it, game. I was just telling you that I didn't need anything for the lift all of a sudden because I was like, oh cool. Lo and behold, we need panel replacement. Anyone got any panels in here? God, why is the game stuttering so much? Killing me.
Oh, hang on. Inconspicuous copper wire? Okay. Piece of wire. Okay, that's all that's all you need, baby. Hang on. Is my character looking at shit or is he no he's just looking around because he's he's behind me because he's fucking crazy. Alright. Piece of wire. They call me Electrician Murphy. There ain't nothing I can't fix. Oh. Fucking like that, bitch. Come on, bitch. Fucking give me that gun. You wanna fucking try that again? Come on, bitch, let's see what you fucking got. Pinche cabrón. Fucking get up, bitch. Ne chinga conmigo, puta. Hey! Let go, I swear you don't understand. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, okay. First enemy encounter. Where my frying pan at? Oh my god. She ducking and weaving. I was about to... Oh, shit. Why did the camera... Why is the camera... Why? Camera, camera, please. The true final boss of any video game is the goddamn camera. Now, oh. Oh. Get me out of this corner. Nobody puts Murphy in a corner. Ah. Because this camera's bullshit. All right. Oh, my frying pan. He's been with me through thick and thin. Oh my god. Doesn't even matter if I'm blocking. You'd be piercing right through me. Oh. Who cares if I'm blocking? Because you don't care. I was about to scold that man for beating on a woman so ridiculously hard. But it turns out that I'm a beat a bitch too. Because what the hell? Don't scream at me. Don't scream at me. I'm picking up the fire extinguisher. This is going right on top of you. Holy shit. Oh, why does the camera do this to me? What is this game, dude? Beat down. Finish her. Ugh. Finish. Holy shit. Oh, damn. Our first enemy has to be, like, beating a woman to death. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna die. Can we get a, can we get a health bar? Not a health bar, but at least some sort of indicator besides the fact that I look like I'm about to die because I don't I don't know how much a health kit restores I don't know how much we can take I don't know how much of a beating we can take Jesus Christ my frying pan who's by me we've been we've been together through thick and thin man we slid down the slip and slide together Jesus uh Oh, right, I've got the wire. I was just like, I just got totally derailed there. I'm like, what am I doing? Well, there's that guy dead and beat up a woman. Unfortunately. That was brutal. He was like, he was laying into her. But it's fine. Bingo. Hang on, hang on. Just disconnected my, uh, my microphone. So, hang on. <clears throat> Finally. Just got cut off for a bit there. Back outside. Imagine spending a lot of money on a microphone only for it to end up having this shitty cable that if you end up like knocking it slightly sometimes it just disconnects the whole microphone. Couldn't be me. Couldn't be me. Um, yeah. Cheers. Crazy. Where are we? I guess we're in the hotel area now. Room A, room C, room B, and room D is uh, a, a no-no square. Gotcha. Jesus, didn't have to slam the door so loud. Can I have a look what's in the fridge? Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, classic. So that was our first Silent Hill enemy, the, where the duck, the ducking and weaving was not successful, and the camera. Oh my god! Um, did something just like shoot up in the air just then? Uh, the the camera, like holy crap, that was insane. That was just adding un some weird difficulty to the fight for no reason. The whole thing? No, no, just one. It was like the whole crate of bottles. Yeah, not the big map. Can you just take me to the... Okay. Ooh. 
we get the small map when we're in the rooms. Shovel, let's go. I feel like some of my best video game banter moments are in games like Silent Hill or just like horror games on the channel that are like not going to be the most viewed or most popular and that makes me sad. I'm like, you guys, you guys who are watching, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. If you're uh, if you're enjoying this one, I, uh, I'm enjoying you. Simple as that. Thank you for watching. Because this is really interesting so far. But I know that a lot of people are going to be like, Silent Hill Downpour, trash. Trash game. Why are you playing this? Why aren't you playing the best games of all time all the time? And I'm like, because I want to play this game. And I like playing the games that I want to play, you know? And I want to check this one out. And I think it's pretty crazy. And also we get to have fun. We get to have fun. We get spooked. We give some genuine thoughts and, and opinions on whatever the hell's going on in this game. It's interesting. Which can mean anything. We never know. What kind of interesting will it be? Find out later. That opens. But we are not the ones to open it. We are not destined to open that. Oh no, that's the elevator. No. Am I crazy? What? What's happening to my brain? I'm crazy. That's not the elevator. Where did we, where did we come from? Who am I? Where are I? Where, where are where are we? Where are where are I? What the fuck? I got some wires going in here. More wires. We got a hammer. Just replacing items as I find them with new shiny toys at this point. I wonder if mo like monsters and enemies are going to be a common thing. Power's out. Wonder where the breaker is. Jailbreak, one token. That's the fucking game. My fucking god. I forgot that we were cut. I forgot that we were even here for that. We've been through so much shit already. I forgot we were just trying to get a goddamn tram ticket. Turn this bad boy on in the rain. Let's go. Get sparked. Generator on, baby. Silent Hill, home, or at least it used to be, before I fucked everything up. Alright, let's play this goddamn game. Let's play this escape game so I can get myself a tram ticket. Get, get the hell out of here. Uh, game tokens. God, what do we do here? Okay, just activate. What is it? What are the rules? Oh god, am I doing anything? Oh, I am doing something. I am... Oh. oh, I see what is happening here. Okay. I gotta. Oh, shit. Okay. Fuck you. Oh, I need to get the red one in the red. Okay. The red one in the red one, the green ones in the green ones. Oh, well, fuck it. Okay. Jeez. What? Video game. What? I get it. Yeah. You. First try. Okay. Nice. Plan out the journey ahead of time. Hmm. Gotcha. Yeah. Let's go. Imagine if you had to restart. Could you imagine? Oh! Fuck you. Imagine if you had to get all three together in one go. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah! Jailbreak! Prison theme. It's on brand for the game. Yes. Get it? I'm back to that Skytram. 
now I'll show this to any police officer that comes up to arrest me. And I'll say, officers, relax. I won the jailbreak game. I have my get out of jail free card. I'm winning at life. Okay. Maps. Back to the tram station. How the hell do I get out of here? Oh, oh yeah, right. It was the gate that was... Um... Gotcha. Yeah, it was the gate that was blocked from behind. Um, oh, you are, you are shitting me. What? All right, well, I'm surely I can see the mock on it. I, I'm not supposed to go that way. Fuck, how am I get out of here? Hello? Someone get me out of here, please. I'm trapped. What? Surely we gotta bring down that water tower. Obviously, it's the only logical way. Alright, I'm going back out of here. This way? No. That gate being barred from the opposite side it just triggers my video game brain of that's like the nice little shortcut area that we can get the hell out of here and go back. But it's blocked. Uh, alright, I'm going back in the rooms again, because we're missing something in the rooms. Alright, rooms. Um, okay, so... Okay. There's one room that we haven't entered by the front door, but that doesn't really change anything. Hello! I'm fucking st stuck. Oh. Oh, hang on. No. Thought that floor was like... No, okay. Well, fuck me, then. Man just wants to go to the fucking tram stop. I must have to, like... What? Right. Oh, you piece of shit. Okay. Sure, that was very clearly, um, that was very clearly shown to me. What? Just, just open it. Just smack it off. What? I have to use an item? Oh my god. I need a key. Great. I don't have a key. You're gonna make me go back for a key now. I've missed a key. There's a key out here somewhere. You actually just put like the, the ticket in there. I need a key. Who's behind me? Where the key at? All right, we're gonna check the houses, check the rooms again, because I missed the I missed the key. Silly me. Uh, let's check the one that had the stuff in it. Key, please. Oh, I've got the shovel back. Uh, I've broken up with the hammer. Well, if that, if the way to get back there was uh, inconspicuous and not very well communicated, then surely our way back is also going to be exactly the same. This key will be like hidden in some shitty place. Why did they have to make it a key? Why couldn't they just be like, yeah, you just lift the bar up or some shit. Alright, hello? Anyone got a key? Looking for a key? Oh, hang on. Oh, no. Now I'm just making up things in my head where I'm looking at things. Oh, something there. Maybe there isn't. Oh. Nice. Watch the key be in the pocket, you fuck. Oh. oh, no? Oh, yeah. Yes. Key in the pocket of clo- That is not- <sighs> A long time since I had real clothes. 
That is not communicated at all. I'm not going to look at clothes on a bed and logically go like, I mean, it, I guess it makes sense retroactively to go, oh yeah, he'd want to change out of his prison clothes, sure. But like, that just looks like objects. It just looks like part of the environment. That just looks like part of the environment. And then you walk up to this and you go, well, fuck, how do I get through this? This game has just run into a, uh, a problem with communicating things. I swear I have the option on to, to highlight objects. Object highlighting is turned on. Highlight items and interactive objects. It's on. I wonder what it looks like when it's off because that is deeply concerning. Like, I think it's it, it's the weapons you can pick up, like they shine. They have a shimmer to them. I was not seeing the shimmer on those clothes. Um, we're also now a policeman. So if anyone's like, see, now we don't need, we've ditched the prison clothes. So now we can just pretend to be uh, a police officer instead. So there you go. We can commit another crime. I'm a I'm a policeman, and I've got my classic. Oh shit! Why are they screaming at me like that? Whoa! What the? Get shoveled? Who's behind me? Oh my dude! What the? F okay, you know what? You know what I've learned in my years of Silent Hill? Fucking run! Fuck that! Fuck that noise! Who's behind me? Oh, I got screaming women behind me. God damn. Oh, whoa, there's fucking, look at them. There's an army of screaming women. They are not giving up the chase. Holy shit. I'm terrified. I'm almost dead. What the fuck? These women are going to yell at me to death. Get the fuck away. Fuck that. Do you know how hard it was to kill one of them? It's like impossible. Genuinely. That took that took a lot of effort to just kill one, not three of them. While well, they're all yelling at me and I gotta duck and weave. This is about to get worse than homecoming's combat at that rate. God damn. God damn. I wanna settle down, guys. I, I have no idea how much like of a beating I can take. Like I'm looking pretty bloody right now, but it doesn't seem like I'm on the verge of death. You know, like, so I'm going to try and hold off because I want to just burn through my first aid kits just because I, you know, stumbled in on a, on a group of gals. Can't be worse than back there, can it? It can't be worse than back there. Mm -hmm. Out of the frying, my frying pan. Out of the frying pan, into the fog. Let's go. Deeply concerned. We made it. Look at that beautiful view, though. Fifteen minute tram ride. Just stands there like idling the whole time, does not even take in the sights, just stands there waiting for 15 minutes. He did not even move or blink or breathe. He was just in stasis on this tram. Find a way into town. Oh damn. Alright. I think with that one, with the journey to this tram to get a tram ticket to get to this place, uh, we can bring this episode of uh, Silent Hill Downpour to a close. Thank you so much for joining me for the first episode of a new Let's Play and a new Silent Hill game on the channel. Um, I have mixed impressions at the moment. It's uh, There's some cool shit going on here, but at the same time, there's some uh, weird, silly stuff happening as well, which seems to be a trend with some of the more recent Silent Hill games. Um, but there is some cool things in here, and I'm curious to see how this is going to progress. Um, our little dude looks terrified here. I actually quite like the the fact that this protagonist is like, what the hell's going on? And he's like visibly shaken. Um, it It's much more uh, relatable as a, as a character for that. So you got to give it props for that. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this first episode and are looking forward to the rest of the series. Uh, if you haven't and you're new to the channel, I got a, if you haven't seen him yet, 
and you're new, we've got a bunch of Silent Hill games on the channel and other horror stuff and all of other things. So if you're new and you want to stick around, please do consider subscribing. It would mean a lot. Thank you so much, and I will see you next time.